plastic viscosity, PV, is the resistance of fluid to flow. In the field, we can get the PV from a viscometer. Typically, the viscometer is utilized to measure shear rates at 600, 300, 200, 100, 6, and 3 revolutions per minute. We can calculate the plastic viscosity from the difference between the 600 and 300 RPM rating. The formula looks like this. The plastic viscosity equates to rating at 600 RPM minus rating at 300 RPM. The unit of plastic viscosity is centipoise. Example of plastic viscosity calculation. For example, you have these values from a viscometer. Reading at 600 RPM is equal to 56. Reading at 300 RPM is equal to 35. Plastic viscosity is equal to 56 minus 35, which is equal to 21 centipoise. Effect of solid content on the plastic viscosity. Any increase in solid content in drilling mud as barite, drill solid, lost circulation material, etc. will result in higher the plastic viscosity. In order to lower B plastic viscosity, you must reduce the solid content that can be achieved by using solid control equipment and or diluting drilling mud with base fluid. With increasing temperature while drilling deeper, the plastic viscosity of the drilling mud will decrease because the viscosity of the base fluid decreases. The plastic viscosity and mud weight relationship. Normally, the higher mud weight, the higher plastic viscosity will be. However, if you have an increasing trend of PV without mud weight change, it means that there is an increase in ultra-fine drill solid content in the mud system. Moreover, if you use oil-based mud, please keep in mind that emulsified water in oil-based drilling fluids will act like a solid and it will increase the plastic viscosity dramatically. Several impacts of the plastic viscosity on drilling operation, such as equivalent circulating density, surge and swab pressure, differential sticking, and rate of penetration. If you are interested in drilling mud knowledge, please visit www.drilling-mud.org.